Before we start the ceremony, Giorgio and Stephanie would like me to recognize some other loved ones that weren't able to be here today. Although they could not be here together, they are still in our hearts and thoughts. Giorgio's daughter, Anna Maria, Stephanie's mother, Claire, her father, Richard, and his wife, Cindy, her sister, Tracy, nephew, Craig, brother-in-law, John, Uncle Richard, and her 93-year-old grandmother, Catherine. They would also like to thank all of you for being here today, given the last minute plans, especially Jody and Max for putting this ceremony together in one and a half days, and Scott for capturing this beautiful memory on video. Finally, Stephanie would like to recognize her son, Kendall, and Georgia would like to recognize his parents, Maria and Carlo Deli, also known as Nona and Nono. Although they are no longer here physically, they are always with us in spirit. Stephanie Rose and Giorgio Deli, you've come here today to celebrate the love which you have for each other. We share in this with you by giving recognition of your decision to accept each other as husband and wife. True marriage is more than the joining of two persons. It's the uniting of two souls that are already attuned to each other. Happiness in marriage is not something that just happens. A good marriage must be created. In the art of marriage, the little things are the big things. It's never being too old to hold hands. It's always remembering to say, I love you. It's never going to sleep angry, and it's never taking the other one for granted. The courtship should not end with the honeymoon. It should continue through all the years. It's doing things for each other, not out of duty or sacrifice, but in the spirit of love. It's cultivating flexibility, patience, understanding, and a sense of humor. <laughs> It's having the capacity to forgive and forget and give each other an atmosphere where you can each grow. It's not only marrying the right partner, it's also being the right partner. So Giorgio, do you take Stephanie to be your lawful wedded wife? Do you promise to love, honor, and protect her? Share the good times and achievements as well as the hard times and disappointments forevermore? Do you promise to be her partner in life, cherish her friendship, Love her today, tomorrow, and forever. Do you promise to trust and honor her? Love her faithfully and always be there. And finally, as you give her your hand to hold, do you also give her your life to keep? I do. <laughs> Stephanie, do you take Giorgio to be your lawful wedded husband? <coughs> do you promise to love, honor, and protect him? Share the good times and achievements, as well as the hard times and disappointments. Do you promise to be his partner in life? cherish his friendship and love him today tomorrow and forever do you promise to trust and honor him love him faithfully and always be there finally as you give him your hand to hold do you also give him your life to keep yes <laughs> Can we have the rings? Oh. <coughs> <coughs> um, you guys you place them on each other's fingers It's the one part where I'm going to make you talk. You can go first, Georgia. Repeat after me. May this ring forever. May this ring forever. Be to you a symbol of my growing love. Be to you a symbol of my growing love. Stephanie, repeat to George. May this ring forever. May this ring forever. Be to you. Be to you a symbol of my growing love. A symbol of my growing love. <laughs> Out of this tangled world, two souls have come together, drawn by mutual love and respect. Stephanie and Giorgio, you have promised each other your love, and you've given each other rings to wear as a sign of your deep commitment. May your joys be sweet as spring flowers that grow, as bright as a fire when winter winds blow, as countless as the leaves that float down in the fall, and as serene as the love that keeps watch over all. By the power vested in you by the state of Florida, you are now husband and wife. Yeah. <laughs>